Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create template for slit animation or also known as the Moira effect. It is also known by many other names such as barrier grid illustration, picket fence effect or slit animation or scan animation. So guys, let's get started. So the first thing that you are going to need are the different frames which when run together are going to create the optical illusion of motion. So as you can see in front of me are six frames pertaining to a rotating gear. So the gear is rotating. So each frame is at a certain angle once the gear has rotated. So I'm going to utilize this six frame in my uh, PowerPoint application and I'm going to create the more effect with the help of these six frames. So next open a PowerPoint application and on that start pasting your frames one by one. So paste on each uh, slide. Ensure that the image that you are pasting is of the silhouette form that is completely filled with black no other color because this is mostly done with black colored silhouette images only also ensure that the images are aligned centrally on the slide and this you have to do for all the frames If you have got your frames right, then you'll be able to see the movement within the frames just by changing the slide. So just ensure that it is working as you expect. Now, next we are going to create the grid, which when passed over these frames is going to create the effect of the illusion. So add a new slide and on this slide, create a rectangle whose height is the height of the slide, but whose width is equal to one point less than the total number of frames. So we have total of six frames. So I'm going to create a rectangle of width 0 0.5 and then I'm going to leave a gap of 0 0.1 and then I'm going to repeat this again and again. So this is how I'm going to do it. So create a rectangle under the shape format. You can give it, you can actually increase the height directly like this. Ensure that it is equal to the height of the slide. Align it towards the most left. Fill the shape outline and the shape fill as black color. And now the width of this will be 0 0.5 because I have six frames, so 0 0.5. Next, I'm going to just create a copy of it and place it at a gap of 0 0.5 one from the previous rectangle. So this rectangle is starting at zero, 0 from the left. So this will start at 0 0.6 from the left. So I'm going to right click on it, click format shape. Then here under the position, put its position as 0 0.6. So there is a gap of one unit between the two rectangles. Similarly, the next will be 0 0.12 or 1.2 then next will be 1.8 2.4 it will just keep on increasing by 0 0.63 continue this process till you have covered the entire slide with these rectangles put at a gap of 0 0.1 Now that we have our grid ready, what I want you to do is create a copy of this slide just to keep the original one intact and select all the rectangles, right click and group them into a single object. Why we do want to do this? Because we need to create offset in the frames, which will when overlap together is going to create the animation effect. So I'll explain just in a while what I mean by that. So now copy this grid and paste it over the first frame. Okay. For the first frame, we are not going to offset this grid by anything. Then right click on it, ungroup to separate the rectangles again, Con press control A to select the gear at the back also, go under the shape format, click on merge shapes and click subtract. 
what it has done is that all the white spaces between the grids only on those places the shape of the gear has remained everywhere else the shape of the gear has gone and now we are going to repeat the same process for rest of the frames also but with every frame we are going to offset it by 0 0.1 because that is the gap that we have created between the rectangles in the grid so i'm going to copy paste my grid here and you'll understand why i have grouped it but we are going to shift this entire object by 0 0.1 now had i not grouped it i would have to shift every rectangle separately which will be a very tiresome process hence the grouping so i'll ungroup it again press ctrl a shape format and subtract for the next frame i'll have to shift it by 0 0.2 then again ungroup it press ctrl a to select everything on the slide merge shapes subtract now for the next the shift will happen by 0 0.3 so with every next frame the shift will keep on increasing by the amount of gap that is present between the rectangles ungroup control a shape format merge shapes subtract here it will be 0 0.4 Right click, ungroup, control A, shape format, merge shapes, subtract. And lastly, this will be 0 0.5. Once again, right click, group, ungroup, control A, select everything, merge shapes, subtract. If you know programming, you can write a program to do all these steps together in one go but if you don't know then this is how you are going to manually do it now the last step is to superimpose these shapes on top of the first frame so what i what you need to do is you need to copy this paste it on top of it ensure that there is no movement of the frame just copy pasting as it is paste it here third frame now onto the fourth frame now on to the fifth frame and finally on to the last frame once you are done you will get your superimposed image now just to show you the effect on the software itself i'm going to copy paste this on this the moment it's copy pasted you can see the actual gear rather than the superimposed now with every shift that will happen when i slide this uh, barrier grid or this slits that I have created on top of this e gear with every one point shift the next frame is going to come so you will feel an effect of animation can you see that now how to get this effect physically so if you want to get this effect physically then all you need to do is that you need to take a print of this particular slide on an acetate sheet with a clear printer the line should come out clearly as black and you need to take a print out of this on a normal printing paper so these are the two things that i have right here and when you slide this grid on top of this printout you can see the actual motion so you can create it with simple objects like these gears plus you can also create it with complex objects like motion of a scissor motion of a wheelbarrow or a jumping ball or very complex shapes also you can choose what whatever shape you want a running animal a movement of a hand etc all you need to do is that you need to have the different frames for it for example as you can see that i have created similar ones for other frames also so I have this one here for galloping horse
Now in this case, the total number of frames were 11. So as you can see, the width of the rectangle will increase. So if you have too many frames, the width of the rectangle will keep on increasing. Hence, you need to work with six frames or seven frames or eight frames maximum. Do not go beyond that. This one contained 12 frames, but you can still see the effect at the background. So the thinner the rectangles, the more clear the effect will be. The thicker the rectangles or the more number of frames, the less clear it becomes. So normally I have seen people doing it with six frames maximum. Similarly, I have another one of a walking cat. This one also had 12 frames. This is the final superimposed object, but when you start moving the grid on top of it, you can see the animation. So guys, I'll be doing another video on this with respect to the practical applications of it. It's good as an optical illusion, but how you can use it practically in a f in form of paper craft or in uh, making it as a gift item. So I'll be doing another video on the same very soon, so guys. Stay tuned. I hope this uh, video helped you to create this beautiful optical illusion. If you guys like the video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care and bye bye.